Okay guys, this is the progress on the uh, Jeeps and the uh, rear axles. Uh, this is what I've got so far. Got mooring blocks on the Jeep. bolts on the back of the Jeep so that I can grab a hold and move axles around. Oh cool. And then I'm going to, then I've got, uh, let's see, I got where I can hook up here to the back of the back of the, back of the uh, little boy. And it's using the existing grits that are already in the low boy. Already has an attacher joint there for it. Everything is coated as extra axle. So you just have to code your axle with that. And I've got it to where you can run multiple axles together back to back. And it works like this. Now my issue is this. Okay, even from the inside or from the outside. When I go to adjust my gooseneck, look what happens. Now, I have looked in the Low Boy XML, trying to figure out how that index, because it's only index 33, and 33.0 is the actual attachment joint, and I have not been able to find any place animation wise the index is that same joint and why that same exact index would be working with the rotation on the gooseneck when they're entirely different components now the gooseneck is, is a completely different component from the bed so it should have no effect whatsoever on index uh, 33 from the bed because the bed the bed component because it's a different component and I cannot figure out the life of me why this is doing that or what I would need to do to actually make it rotate up and, and clip up instead of go up and down I can do it right now and as you can see it doesn't matter you know, yeah I could put now on the on the Jeep it doesn't do that on the Jeep it does not do that it doesn't move at all on the Jeep and when they're in tandem, they don't move either. Except for the first one that's controlled, connected to the low boy. And only when I'm trying to move the goose stick. See, there it goes. All three of them just lifted up off the ground. And that's the attacher joint for that, uh, that transform group for the attachment joint. That's the only thing that's there. And I can cycle through this here and you guys can, I'll show you the uh, drop axles on the, on the uh, tri-axle here on the, on the Jeep. So that's working nice. And again, there's the slide axle where I can slide this out. Get plenty of room. I'm probably going to limit that a little bit more. We're going to limit that because uh, it actually goes quite a ways up right now. But I'm actually thinking about seeing if I can get a modeler to make me another one of these headpieces, the, the flip extenders, one about 70 or 90 inches. And then what I'll do is I'll export the goose stick and do it, do it again uh, on, a, on a separate component with this group as an additional gooseneck that you can use. But I have to exactly, uh, uh, it depends if somebody could model the headpiece, the extender, 
and I just replaced the extender on the other gooseneck. But anyway, that's my issue, guys. If you can help me out with that, with that boot detacher joint, you guys have the uh, the Lua files and the scripts in the in the Fortuna truck trailer. So you look at the same things that I'm at. If you guys can help me out and figure out what's going on there, I'd really appreciate the help. Thanks.